This is where the, the drama comes from. This is where the, the designers know that this is the secret sauce to making a room go from feeling very basic to, oh my gosh. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to the house of Valentina. I'm Valentina and today I am so excited about today's video because we're gonna do something a little bit different. This has been one of my most requested videos and that is the ultimate guide to bedroom decor for non-decorators. I think a lot of times we can forget that sometimes a room is really all about the basics and those building blocks and putting a space together. So I thought it'd be really great to take us back from you know, a lot of the fancier things that we do and some of the, the little minutia of decor and all those things, let's pull it back today. Let's talk about the basics of putting together a beautiful bedroom. We're getting ready to start another project tomorrow. <laughs> and so I've just been designing a bedroom and getting everything ready. And actually this was really helpful for me to really think through how do I actually put a room together? What are the basics? And how can I help you do the same in your home? So I hope you're gonna absolutely love today's video. It's gonna be packed with tips and tricks. And uh, make sure you hit subscribe, give the video a big thumbs up, and let's jump in. Okay, so today's gonna be a bit of a crash course. We're gonna talk about how to design a bedroom and we're gonna talk about all the different aspects that you need to think of in order to create an absolutely gorgeous design. The very first thing that I like to do is I like to walk into a space and immediately start assessing the layout of the actual room. I start to notice where are the windows in this room? Where are the doors? Is there a closet door? Is there a bathroom door? Is there just a door to the inside and outside of the room? Maybe there's one to a, an outdoor space. Are there French doors? Is there a single door? All these kinds of things are super important because they're gonna help dictate how you actually put the space together. So notice the windows, notice the shape of the room, and really think through the shape of the actual space. The next thing you're gonna have to do is to get out your measuring tape and measure. Because measuring out your space is going to save you so much hassle. You really need to understand what you're working with before you even start to think about how the, all the pretty stuff, right? <laughs> the gorgeous linens and the bed and the rug. You can't get to any of that until you first decide what you're actually working with. So once you've assessed your space and once you've measured things out, that is when I start to think through what am I actually going to be able to get into this room? And what are the needs of myself or my client, depending on whose space we're working on? So the next thing you have to do is to really decide what needs to go into the room. What's the wish list? What's the dream list? And what is on the absolute must list? So in a bedroom, usually that is the bed. And that is one of the things that a lot of times people want to upsize the bed. <laughs> Sometimes they want to put a king bed into a space that it just really just doesn't fit well into. I like to make sure that there's at least 36 inches on one side of the bed, preferably on both sides of the bed. Sometimes you end up taking a little bit of space on one side. And if it's not a primary bedroom that you're gonna be sleeping in all the time, you might be able to get away with a little bit less of a walkway on one side. But generally, I like to make sure that there's a, a lot of room to actually move around the space. Otherwise, if you put a big, huge bed, let's say the king size bed goes into a room that's 10 by 10, it's gonna feel really cramped. And it's just basically gonna be a bed in the room. So if you really want to be able to create a designer look, really looks like it's been thought out, I would suggest downsizing a bit on the bed. So make sure you reserve walkways. Also think about where the foot of the bed is going to go. And sometimes that comes down to the placement of the windows and the doors in the room. And that's sometimes the biggest challenge. I'm so excited to take just a moment and thank our video sponsor for today, which is Birch. Birch mattresses are absolutely amazing and mine has completely changed my life. And I am so excited because they are running a huge Memorial Day sale. If you use my link down in the show notes, you're gonna get 25% off plus two free pillows now through June 5th. But let me tell you why you were gonna want this to be the fundamental piece that you bring into your room first. I got their mattress. It's been about, it's been about six months actually since I first got their mattress. We got it last year and I was really nervous when I first got it because I wasn't sure if I was going to like it. I had a mattress that was really comfy and I really looked forward to coming home to it, but I'd started to have back problems 
and I thought it was probably the mattress. So I decided to take a risk. I ordered the Birch mattress. When it arrived, it's great because it comes in those little sealed bags inside the box. So it's really compact. It's really easy to get into the room. It's really easy to just unroll it onto the bed and let it inflate. And uh, immediately I knew I was in love with this mattress, immediately. Because uh, I actually thought, well, if I don't like it, I'm gonna keep my old one and I can switch it back out. Guys, I never once thought about switching it back out. I've been a fan since the first night's sleep. It's absolutely amazing. It has completely changed. It's, it's actually changed my life because when your back hurts and you're not sleeping well, you just don't function very well during the day. And it was really starting to affect me actually. And so now the mattress is absolutely amazing. Jack and I both love it. It's a mattress that we both can actually sleep on. And that is a really big deal because a lot of times a mattress will be too firm or too soft for somebody. This mattress is absolute perfection for us and we just adore it. The Birch Lux natural mattress that, that we chose is certified by the Global Organic Textile Standard, which is of course the leading textile processing standard for organic fibers across the globe. It's Green Guard Gold certified. It's Fair Trade certified. I also love the fact that there's no off gassing. These were all the things that really just drew us to this mattress originally and it's ended up being one of our best decisions. So click my link down below to get 25% off your Birch mattress plus two free pillows during Birch's Memorial Day sale. It's now until June 5th. If you miss this limited time offer, you can still get 20% off using my link. I will have all the details down below in the show notes for you. I know that you guys are gonna absolutely love it. And thank you again to Birch for being our video sponsor. Now you can decide what are the other things that you need to get into the room. A lot of times people would like to have nightstands, right? It's pretty practical to have some nightstands. You'll have to assess whether you have room to be able to put them on the floor, or you might need to have some floating on the wall, depending on how much space you have. Then you'll have to think about a dresser or some sort of storage. Sometimes there isn't room to put a dresser in the room along with the bed and the nightstands. Usually you can at least get a console table in. So think creatively with this one because this is sometimes where people get really hung up when they're designing spaces, especially if they're on the smaller size. So when you're thinking through where are all these pieces going to go, a lot of times I like to put a dresser at the opposite end of the headboard because I know that most people like to have a TV in the room, even if it's a guest bedroom. So I'm gonna think through where is that gonna be able to go? Do I need, if I have the space, I'm gonna put a nice long dresser in there. If I don't have the space, I might just simply put a console table and you could always just simply have even just a ledge shelf sitting on the wall that just acts as just like a little bit of a divider and then have the TV over that. That is a really typical layout for us most of the time with a bedroom. That's what most people prefer to have. Then you can start moving on from there. What are some of the other pieces that you might wanna bring in? A lot of times and most of the times people love to have a chair. If there's room, I love to have a nice lounge chair where you can really just relax in the space. I oftentimes choose a swivel chair for the bedroom because then you can swivel towards the bed. You can also swivel out towards the window, have conversation in the room. Maybe you'll want to watch TV from the chair. I just typically put a swivel chair in the bedroom just because it's so functional and it's so nice, but that's just an added bonus. The other aspect is you have to think through how much more furniture can I get in? Maybe you could add an extra dresser. You could add a bench with some artwork over it, right? If you have windows on one wall, you're probably going to have one extra wall in the space and that's kind of that flex space. And that's where you really get to have a little bit of fun. If you really need the storage, then I would de definitely make sure that piece has storage in it. If you want something that's a little bit more open, especially if the space is really tight, just a really narrow console table really helps the space. Okay, so let's talk about some more fundamentals because right now we've got the really true raw basics of the space figured out. But this is the part that you really do need to take care of. And then the next step is when I think most people really start to have a lot of fun. And that's when you really get to be creative and really think about the color palette and things that you're gonna be putting into the space. So, so let's start with the color palette because I think that this is the most fundamental thing that we all need to have when we're putting any space together, but especially with a bedroom. You really need to think about your color palette. A lot of times people get a little bit overwhelmed with this process 
process, especially if you're a non-decorator. For us decorators, we can think through these color palettes and we're kind of, we go into auto mode with them. But when you're just getting started, I think starting out with three basic colors for your space is a really good way to start out and to be able to create something that will really look very designer and really elegant and very luxe. <laughs> so I would think about designing with simple colors like white, cream, beige, those colors will give you a very soothing look, that palette. So don't think of it as that everything has to be the exact same color. They just all need to be in the same color family. So you wanna choose colors that feel like they belong together. You could also do a combination that has a little bit more of a power punch. You could go for something that's a white or a creamy white mixed with a black and, and a wood tone. You could choose with those two colors, with a black and a white like that, you can choose any wood tone that you like and it's gonna work. Especially if you choose a lighter wood, something with a grayish undertone, you can go with a dark wood. Really, anything's gonna go with those two colors. It doesn't mean that you have to match everything Perfectly. The white linen on your bed doesn't have to be the exact same color as the white on your wall. You just generally want to have a palette that you're working with and it'll help you keep it really simple and pull everything together really easily. The other thing that I would always add into every color palette is a little touch of green. You can bring greenery in in so many different ways, whether it's a tree, it's branches in a vase. You could also bring in some fresh florals. You could bring in some moss as well, but either way, I think every Space, no matter what palette you choose, always looks the best when it has a little bit of greenery in it. Once you've chosen your color palette, the next thing that most people like to choose next is the bed, because that really is the centerpiece of the room. So there are so many beautiful choices, and I know it can be really confusing. Once you know what your color palette is, you can choose a bed in the style that you just really love. That will really help you to choose an overall feeling for the entire space. The bed really will be the most important piece that you put into the room. So I do think that going for something classic is really wise if you don't wanna to have to switch things out a lot. So an upholstered headboard is just always a win. You could also go with something classic like a wood bed. You could go for something like a four poster bed if you have enough height to be able to actually fit it in your space. You have to have a pretty high ceiling to have a four poster bed. So if you're just a beginner, you might want to just think about going with something that's upholstered or a really simple frame that's wood. And that way that'll really help you to have a really gorgeous space. You can do matching nightstands to the bed itself, or if you go upholstered, this could be your wood tone that you bring in. A lot of times people ask, do the nightstands and the dresser have to match? They don't have to match. I tend usually to never use more than two colors but a lot of times I do have the dresser and the nightstands at least in the same color tone. So your room is starting to really fill up. You've got the walls figured out, you've got the bed, you've got the mattress figured out, you're thinking about those nightstands and the other pieces, maybe the chair as well, right? You're gonna pick from that color palette that you're bringing in. The next thing you're gonna wanna do is pick a rug. A rug really is the foundational piece in a space. It's not the first thing you see when you walk into a room, because I think that really is the bed, which is why it's so important. But foundationally, that rug really does make a big difference. So you really wanna ground the room with something really beautiful. Rugs come in so many different sizes and shapes and textures. I personally love to use materials like sisal. I love something that has even just a silky feel. You can even find those inexpensively that maybe just have a polyester uh, blend to them, but they still are silky soft to the feet. I think that those really just create a very luxurious look in a space. And I like to go light on the rug usually. I think it just creates a feeling of warmth and ambiance and a lightness in the room that I think is really beautiful. But before I let you go, let's not forget the most, oh, I guess this is the most important. This is the most this is where the, the drama comes from. This is where the, the designers know that this is the secret sauce to making a room go from feeling very basic to, oh my gosh, <laughs> this room is just unbelievable. So what is the secret sauce? The secret sauce to a great bedroom design is amazing artwork and lighting. Those two things are what will take your room from feeling well put together, very lovely, but if you wanna take it from just basic to wow, put some amazing artwork into your space. I love to go bold. 
It, that's not gonna surprise you guys at all. I mean, look at me. I've got a black fireplace, okay, in my living room. I love to go bold. You can even see a little peek back there of the artwork that I have from Amazon. You do not have to spend a lot of money on the artwork. I mean, if you wanna spend more, go to First Dibs. There's lots of great places that I will help you shop <laughs> and buy some original artwork. I love it, I love it. But if you are working on a really tight budget for this space and you're just getting started, Amazon is actually an amazing place to go to find really beautiful art pieces. I've got an entire category that you can look at. I suggest going big for your art over the bed, especially if you're a beginner. I think that that impact really just hones your eye in to the bed, it hones your eye into that centerpiece, and I think going bold with that artwork just really gives you that wow factor. You can do one really big piece, you could do two large pieces put together, or you could even do three pieces. You can do 10 pieces, right? Five bottom, two on top, and stacked on top of each other. There's a lot of different options that you can use, but overall, adding artwork into your space will really just set it apart. And the lighting itself is what will bring the ambiance to the room. I think that, and maybe some curtains, I think that is nice too. Uh, finishing out all those little details will really just help your space come alive. But I do think that lighting especially brings the ambiance, and I think that's why it's so important. Most people can pick out a really beautiful bedding set, most people can put up some gorgeous curtains, but ultimately when you're just a beginner, don't forget the lighting because I think that that really just makes the whole room just come alive. Of course, when you go into your room at night, putting the lights on dimmers and being able to create an, an, an ambient space for yourself will make the space feel like a million bucks. And again, you don't have to spend a ton of money. I'll leave a link to my Amazon shop as well because that's where you can find a lot of amazing, amazing lighting. I've got gorgeous lamps. You can kind of see the one I've got sitting back here. That's from Amazon. You could have floor lamps like this. Those come in table lamps. There's some great stuff on there that you can shop. And I think that's one of the easiest places to go. The other place that I will suggest is my LTK because on my LTK, my LTK is just this little app and literally once you click into this, you just pop in. You'll see that I give you a ton of suggestions. I show you how to put all the spaces together and I source all of it for you so you can find all the links for the items that well, see, that's the thing. It's like, I'm a designer, right? So I spend all day sourcing for my clients and I'm sharing that with you. So if you're just getting started, I would suggest checking out my Amazon storefront and my LTK. That way you'll see I've got all different budgets represented there and it'll give you a lot of ideas for how to take these concepts that we've been talking about today and pull it all together. You'll be able to see lots of different ideas and you can decide which ones you really like and that'll really help you get started. But I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I hope it's loaded you up with lots of ideas. Don't forget to check out that Birch discount code. That is a huge savings for something that's going to be life altering for you. So I will have all of that linked up down below in the show notes for you. And uh, cheers you guys. Thank you again for stopping in and I uh, can't wait to hear from you. Oh, don't forget to hit subscribe and give the video a thumbs up. And let me know down in the comments if you found this super helpful and if you want me to do this for more rooms. Cheers, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.